1 pm pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by muhammad zubair khan first the headline prime minister says economy is moving in right direction due to prudent steps taken by the incumbent government Minister for Climate Change says all state institutions are fully cooperating in making concerted efforts for evacuation of the people from the coastal belt in the wake of cyclone Viper Joy. United Nations has assured to help Pakistan in dealing with impacts of approaching cyclone Viper Joy. In Japan, two soldiers were killed during a fire incident at a military training range in Gifu area. Another news in detail. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has said economy is moving in right direction due to prudent steps taken by the incumbent government. He was addressing the inaugural ceremony of Captain Colonel Sheikh Khan Shahid Avenue, formerly known as IJP Road and 7th Avenue overhead bridge on Srinagar Highway, besides performing groundbreaking of 11th Avenue in Islamabad today. The Prime Minister said the government has given substantial relief to common man in budget 2023-24. Prime Minister said we are importing oil on discounted rates from Russia. He hoped that deal will be done with the IMF as Pakistan has fulfilled all of its conditions. On the occasion, he announced that an electric bus service will also be launched in the capital city for which the buses will reach by 15th of next month. Speaking on the occasion, Interior Minister Rana Sanaula said we will continue the journey of serving the masses. Minister for Information and Broadcasting Maryam Aurangzeb says Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has paid homage to the martyrs by renaming IJP Road as Captain Colonel Sher Khan Shahid Avenue. In a statement today, she said unparalleled courage and valor of Captain Colonel Sher Khan Shahid was even acknowledged by the enemy. The minister said it is a message to those who damaged the memorials of martyrs on 9th of May that we respect and honor our martyrs. Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif is undertaking a two-day official visit to Azerbaijan from today at the invitation of President Ilham Aliyev. During the visit, the Prime Minister will hold wide-ranging talks with President Ilham Aliyev on key areas of cooperation including trade, investment and energy. Minister for Climate Change Shari Rahman says all state institutions including rangers, maritime agency and coast guards are fully cooperating in making concerted efforts for evacuation of the people from the coastal belt in the wake of Cyclone Viper Joy. During the meeting to review arrangements in the face of Cyclone Viper Joy, she said Karachi will not be directly affected by the cyclone, however its impacts can hit the city. She said 75 relief camps have been established in different schools and colleges in the areas which can be affected by the cyclone. Shari Rahman said the concerned authorities have also completed evacuation of the people from Kacha area to safer places last night. The United Nations has assured to help Pakistan and India in dealing with the impacts of the approaching cyclone by Pajoy. The assurance was given by the United Nations spokesperson Stephen Dujaric while responding to a question at the regular noon briefing in New York. He said the United Nations teams in India, Pakistan and other countries are tracking the storm and doing whatever they can to prepare for the aftermath of the storm. Minister for Planning and Development Hassan Iqbal has called upon international partners, civil society and private sector to join hands with Pakistan to achieve sustainable development goals. Addressing a ceremony in Islamabad today, he expressed Pakistan's commitment to achieve SDGs by 2030. He said government is committed to provide quality education to the youth. He said substantial investments have been made to renovate educational infrastructure. He said 131% budget has been increased for Higher Education Commission, which shows government's commitment for education. Hassan Iqbal said the ministry has also allocated funds for renewable energy projects, waste management, systems for preserving natural resources and water security. In Japan, two soldiers were killed and another injured when a fellow recruit opened fire on them at a military training range in Gifu area. The army said the trainee recruit has been arrested on charges of attempted murder during a shooting drill. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan news official